I was thinking the other day about Kurt Cobain. Uh, I mean, I first discovered Nirvana back in the early 90s, I think. Just a, right uh, when the, the uh, Nevermind album came out. Uh, and ever since, I really liked Nirvana very much. So, and I think they made a big influence on my uh, musical playing as well with the guitar and everything. Uh, I was thinking the other day about the who might have killed him because I don't think it was a suicide. I well, it could have been, but but uh, I don't think so because. The circumstances tells me that no, that wasn't really suicide. Uh, I have some cappuccino here. So I, I, I was thinking, what a loss! I mean, why such a great musician and everything? And we have lost a lot of great musicians in over the past 30-40 years. But anyway, uh, I think there is something, maybe Courtney has something to do with it, but I, I, did, I don't really think she's too involved in it. Uh, but I think that someone, uh, as we all know, by now called El Duce. I think well I didn't I don't think he did it but I'm sure he knew who did it. I'm really sure about that. Um, I don't think he died just because and I don't think he fall in front of a train as the well as people say he did. Obviously he did, but I don't think that's. I don't think that's. I I don't think that's really all the truth right there. Um, there is a, a documentary movie. Uh, uh, what is his name? Uh, Nick. Uh, his name is Nick. Is something I can't remember. Uh, he actually visited. El Duce, uh, this is back in the 1996 maybe or something like that, 1995 maybe, a couple of years after Kurt Cobain's suicide. Um, well, and uh, El Duce said in front of the camera that Courtney offered him 50 grand to whack Kurt Cobain, yeah. So and he also said uh, that he knew who did it. And well, by saying that kind of stuff, I think uh, the one who actually did it, or the one who really is responsible for for the the murder of Kurt Cobain. Maybe we're thinking he needs to to wipe out El Duce, I think, and so he did. So well, I think there, I think there's something going on there. El Duce, some people around him, or well, something like that. I, I that's what I think. Uh, I don't think I don't think he he committed suicide. Great cappuccino here. On the other hand, Courtney Love, I, I don't, I don't really believe that she has anything to do with it because, well, she could have something to do with it. But no, I don't think she would hire the uh, hire a cleaner, for example, to wipe out. Kurt Cobain, I don't think so. Uh, I think she knew that she wasn't supposed to get any money or anything, but by you know by by killing him, uh, 
even though she got a, a great amount of money after Kurt Cobain's death, but uh, the I think the the um, owner owner of the the Nirvana uh, got the most. Well, anyway, uh, I I think there is uh, maybe people would say I shouldn't really think about this kind of stuff, but I do that very often because I want to know what happened. I want to know what really happened. Uh, I don't think Kurt Cobain took an uh, overdose and blowed his fucking head out. I don't think so. So that's why I believe it's what's not a suicide. Maybe even though he was suicidal, but I don't think it was suicide. I, I don't know, but I don't think so. So, yeah. I can understand that Kurt Cobain wasn't really... Well, maybe he was happy about Nirvana, but I don't think uh, he was happy about the fact that Nirvana was getting bigger and bigger. I mean, he was a superstar over a night. Just as fast as the Nevermind album came out, Nirvana was a superstar. They were superstars over from one day to another. So, and in several interviews, he he's talking about he never intended to well, maybe that's the wrong word, but he, he never... He was always thinking that he wanted to keep it very small, you know, playing small pubs and, you know, the, the punk rock style on the, the small gigs. So that's why he... I think he wasn't very happy about the, the fame, the Hall of Fame. You know, uh, he said that he, he wanted to keep it small. And, well, I understand that. Uh, I have been a musician as well. Uh, been playing for a quite big audience. Well, of course it's fun. But uh, when it comes to the fact that you're playing in front of thousands of people maybe maybe millions you know like Woodstock or something like that may well that's not that was not maybe his goal I think the drugs as well have some involvement in, in the the fact that he wasn't happy about his life he, but I don't think he committed suicide uh, even though he wasn't very happy. Uh, the fact is that the, I think, uh, well I know he was recently released from a rehab a couple of months before he actually died. Uh, and I think he had an overdose. Uh, he, wa he was uh, saved from an overdose a couple of months earlier. Well, I don't know, maybe he actually killed himself, but I don't think so, uh, no, no. This is just thoughts about, about, this is only my opinions about it. I mean, you guys maybe think something else, and that's okay, because this is what I believe. And uh, if you have some interesting facts about this, write a comment down below here. And uh, tell us what you think about it. So this this is about Kurt Cobain and uh, you know El Duce. He uh, he's the the drummer of a, a band called Mentors. Uh, and Courtney Love, of course. Uh, yeah. So if you have some opinions about the murder of Kurt Cobain or maybe suicide just write a comment down below here and tell me what you think 
So, you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye!